Hello, hello, this is Julie Bling. Today's project uses Country Bouquet stamp set and the coordinating punch, hand punch. And I'll show you how to use this. And here are the samples. Look for the, I got a little crazy on the inside using some older stamps. So here's another sample. So I wanna do another one somewhat similar to this today. So Country Bouquet will be the primary focus, but I pulled out a few older stamp sets that um, I just wanted to give a try. And also new dies. These are called Thoughtful Expression Dies. Look at that. Look at all those shapes, the way that they nest together. And then dies to cut out the stamps in the stamp set. And I'll do something with this probably in about three or four weeks. Um, but beautiful, wonderful dies. The stamp set is great too, but the dies, at the dies, it had me. Because look at these shapes. They're really nice. They're um, stitched on both sides. This looks more like stitching. This looks more like um, paper piercing. But those are the dies we'll use. And you could see how nicely the die does that little Dot, 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 perfectly all the way around it. And then here's the other one. Okay, let's get started. So each of the projects are gonna use a different embossing folder. This one uses Painted Posies, which is in the annual catalog. So I'll do this in just a minute. This one uses, I titled it Crosshatch, but there's an online exclusive where you could get a bundle of three embossing folders. They're the 3D embossing folders. And there's this one, one with some dots. And if you did it on foil paper, it looks like they're actual raised up dots. Or if you're familiar with golf, you know how the golf ball has indents in it. This is opposite, they're popped up. Um, so this is one of the embossing folders, one of the three. And then this one is called Time Worn. And um, this is another good one just to have on hand. It goes with just about anything. It could be very casual. It could be very elegant. It could be rustic. But I love this embossing folder. And those are right here. I don't know if you could see them better this way or on the paper. Okay, so let's get started building this card. Oh, and this ribbon is another online exclusive. It is red mini ruffle ribbon. Perfect for today's project. So let's see, all these pieces we'll use in just a minute. So let's start with a paper, ba paper base, and I'll put all the paper cut sizes on my blog, and my blog is jillybling.com. And I will do that in just a day or so. So it's celebration time. And if you've heard people talk about it, or if you've heard it mentioned, what that means is from either of the current catalogs, which is the spring catalog, um, effective January through um, early May. I got it right here. So, mini catalog, January 4th through April. If you order anything from here or from the annual catalog, this one, you get to choose, well, $50 or greater, you get to choose anything for here. Everything in this catalog is free. You have to earn it, but there's no price tag. Even if you had a million dollars, you couldn't buy any item from here, but this is free with a $50 purchase. The paper is free with a $50 purchase, and there's two levels. There's a $50 purchase, and there's also, in the back, the $100 level. So if you buy $100, you could get this stamp set, which is beautiful. You could get that for free. And same with this one, $100 purchase free, and you get the stamp set and the embossing folder. But this promotion is Stampin' Up's best promotion, and it goes through January 29th. So the paper we're using today, the designer paper, this paper right here, one side is flirty flamingo with adorable hearts. The other side is metallic -y gold. That's free paper. Everyone loves free, right? Okay. 
Okay, so this is for stamping. This is for texture. Let's do the texture with the posy. Painted posy. So I'll put this in. It's a brand new embossing folder. Brand new to me. Okay, we'll run that through. Here it is. Can you see how pretty that is? 3D embossing folders, those really put the texture on your paper. So before I stick this down, I'm going to attach this designer paper. I'll put it right over here. Because this is so textured, the paper, I would suggest using liquid glue or um, tear tape. Just because tear tape is really strong and um, I see Tony is texting me. He's, oh, he's on a, a bus trip. I, I should know what sport it is. He's told me a million times, but it's hard to keep up. He's not going to be home till, he just said 11.15. Oh, and I could tell you, I could tell you a story because I know Kathy and David won't hear this. It ain't no thing. So Kathy came over, that's Tony's sister, um, today because we were going to go out and refresh cards. I sell my cards at a few places. And um, so Kathy and I were here and we're getting the bags all ready to make these deliveries. And um, Tony was laughing. And Kathy goes, what? And he says, your husband, he, he said, he is such a dork. I'm like, why would you say that? He says, because he was, um, he did a trip, because David also is a bus driver. Um, he did a sports trip and he was coming home late. And I guess David said to Tony, yeah, I didn't get home last night until 10.30. I was out making bang. B-A-N-G. And Tony was laughing at him because the term and the phrase is making bank. B-A-N-K. He goes, you mean making bank? He goes, no, I was making bang. <laughs> so anyhow, Tony schooled him on what it should be. Making bank. Like you're putting, you're making money to put into the bank. And he's like, oh, really? He's like, yeah. So now he's teasing him. Anyhow, so... Tony just now sent me a text message saying, I won't be home until 11.15. And a minute later, just now, he sent another message. I'm making bang. <laughs> Maybe you just had to be there, but I think it's pretty funny. I think it's pretty cute. I think I might be, <laughs> and it, now it keeps, you know how your text messages keep repeating. It keeps repeating. I'm making bang. I'm making bang. Sometimes you just have to laugh. Gosh, if ever I made bang or bank, I'd be flaunting it. <laughs> Maybe if I like win, win ten dollars on a lottery. Well, I don't play, but I might say, "Hey, y'all, I'm making bang." Yeah. Okay, ruffled ribbon. Before you stick this paper onto your, make sure to. Put your ribbon around using tear tape once again because there's so much texture. If you ran your tape runner over here, over it, the tape would stay on there, the adhesive would, but it would have all these gaps. You just wouldn't get a good, good seal. And last thing you want it to do is fall off. And we all have tear tape, right? I don't know what I'd do without tear tape. I like it. Is this how you put yours on? Make sure to get the corner. I think it's okay that it's not right there. But as long as I get the corners, I think it's good. Get that smushed on there. This isn't going to go anywhere. When I go to position this, let's hope I do it straight. If I do it crooked, it's going to stay crooked. So Kathy and I, we are out all day today doing errands. 
dropping off cards. Then of course we have to go to lunch. Then after lunch she goes, we're gonna go and we're gonna get a cup of, co we're gonna get coffee, right? And I'm like, yeah, normally I don't. And that was at like 2.30 and I'm thinking, ooh. So I had like two sips and I put the rest in the refrigerator. Coffee from Dutch Brothers. Next morning, if you've got some and you dump just like maybe an inch into your coffee, oh my gosh, it makes it wonderful. I purposely save coffee for that reason. Okay, so let's stamp on here. And you know what? I made, um, using the same set, I made a different design right here. So that's using a full piece of the paper. I like this one. That might be my favorite. <gasps> that one's kind of easy though. I love the simplicity of it. But see how this one is kind of stamped off the edge of the big heart? And I know that the heart with the two-step stamping will fit perfectly in there, but I'm thinking of doing it off the edge on purpose. So that's the plan. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So two-step stamping. If you're not familiar, what that means is there's two stamps, two steps. One of them I'm going to put in green ink because see this one, how it has all the greenery on it? the stems and the leaves. And this one has hearts and flowers. So I'm gonna put this one in olive and this one in real red. Let's do it, let's do it. Start with the green. Olive, olive. There should be a Valentine's Day, something like that. Olive, all of you, I, I love you, all of you. There, there, I'm sure there already is, but. That'd be cute. Okay, olive. And then red, real red for this stamp. And this stamp is just gonna line up. See how there's gaps? These flowers, perfectly gonna fit into there. Stamping up, they were thinking. Good, good. I think that's it. Oh, I love it. Okay, let me show you this. Two-step stamping. Two colors. Look how those are perfectly set into the little holes. I mean, even the dots in the little leaves. Yeah. Okay. So now the dies, let me use that new die. This one right here. Okay, maybe a little bit off the edge. Mm, right there. I'm trying to be artsy. And I'm hoping to appreciate this white area because when it's just white, it's kind of calm and soothing. If everything was all colored, it'd be crazy. And here we go. There. Kind of off the edge. It's living on the edge. I want to do two, two, It's in the catalog on page 75. See how there's two words, two different banners? I wanna use my fancy banner. Um, just wanted to say, I love you, all of you. Um, so I wanna do something like that. That's the plan. I think I need a bigger paper though. Okay, so that will be in red. Just wanted to say, so this has to be to someone who you really love. 
Like if you do it to a friend, they probably look at you like, yeah? It has to be to your, your significant other. Okay, so I'm going to cut these two out. Hold on. Okay, so this is a plan. Maybe. Hopefully. This can go over here. This can go up here. And this one can go here, maybe. So I think something like the heart needs to go right there. They did a pink heart. Oh, it was tucked underneath. I could do I could do that. I could do it. Let's get some paper. Okay, so to get that one heart, and I'm thinking this heart right here with that kind of stripes on it. That's on this stamp. And if you look at this stamp, you're like, well, there's two on there. So I'm going to ink in red just the top one. And then the bottom one, I'm going to ink in Flirty Flamingo. Okay, so the top one here, that's perfect for words. Here. This one can be in Flirty Flamingo. So when I do this, you'll know what I'm talking about. So into red, and I'm purposely putting stamping this big heart up and down just because I know how it's going to fit into the punch. See, it's right here. And if I stamped it sideways on this paper, I would be wasting a lot because I'd be punching out leaves and everything. Oh, we have to do leaves too. Oh, so much to do. That looks good. Okay, and then the flirty flamingo. Little heart. Just this bottom one could go right on here. Okay, before I start punching, I'll get my leaves. An old olive. Old olive. Leaves. Did two sets. Maybe I could get three on here. Look at that. Challenge accepted. Success. Okay, so all these pieces, four things. One, two, oh, the leaves are three, four. Let's punch that out. So see how this just fits into here? If you did it sideways, look at how much you're gonna kind of munch up of your scrap paper. Yay, it's a party. Okay, so that's gonna go here. I think, I think, I don't know. And heart goes here. Cute little heart. That could go there, I think. I think, I think. And then leaves. One, garbage. Two, more leaves. I think I'll use three, but you never know. It might turn up to be five. Just because I have a maid. If not, I'll use them later. Leaves, leaves, the rest goes away. Okay, let's see how this is going to go together. And let me, he's making bang. Let me go to my photos because I have a picture of what I plan to do. Okay, it's right there. But I think it's going to be better. Okay, so first of all, this one, I'm just going to put one dimensional on it because I'm wondering where should I place it over into here, but I think the words should go over. I don't know. But if I put one dimensional on, that's easy enough to pull up. 
and it's easy enough to put more dimensionals on later. I'm thinking maybe here and in the center. I think. Then, this one could go here. I'm thinking. Maybe there. Notice how I just set that down really light? Because I'm not sure. I don't have a good plan. I have to be careful with this one. Because if I pull it up and it's on this pretty, wouldn't be good. Okay, just real light. And this one, maybe there. Then leaves, I'll just tuck these in. I don't know. I'm just guessing. One, two, I kind of like it going over the words. No. These can go, this heart can go here. I'm getting ideas from too many places. That's what it is. So should these little leaves go on the baby heart? See, that covers up the bottom of that one. This one is just off to the side all on its own. Those are together. Well. Okay, I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, so that one has one dimensional on it. I'll put glue right here. Oops, messed up my plan. Stuff is flying everywhere. That looks good over there. I'm not sure how the leaves will go on. Maybe the leaves won't go on. So I think it kind of messes it up the bottom of the heart if I cover it up. It makes it so now now what is that? Is that a heart? I think the bottom of the heart is nice. Well, not this time. Okay. And a little bit more dimensionals, because you know how I put just one dimensional on um, a lot of these. See, I lost my mojo because I was worried about making bang. Boy, 
toys. They're funny. Okay. Maybe a little one over here. Ooh, Bo is having dreams. You hear him? Okay, well, I kind of covered up that heart, but that's okay. Bling. Bling fixes everything. Bling. Oh, and then I could put a bow on. Um, three bling. See, bling, bling is good. And then, what kind of bow? Linen thread. Oh boy, I got that crooked. Can I still lift it up? Ooh, that got tight. That's better. I think two dimensionals will hold it in place. So, one, two, a stack of two of them. Make sure it's straight. Okay. That's better. And a bow. How about linen thread? I'll do a double bow. Double bow and bling. Can't go wrong with that. And I'm going to fold it in half, otherwise it'll be too big. Oh, we have to do the inside. I have no idea what to do for the inside. I should have put that glue dot in quarter. Oh, okay. Now I like it. Okay, so that is done. So for the inside, just wanted to say, I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. Just simply, Happy Valentine's Day. And then, a few hearts at the bottom. Cute. Then some of the little ones in Flirty Flamingo. This one I use quite a bit of olive. Maybe I'll put some of those, um, the greenery that comes in this set in there too, if I stop stamping hearts. Leave some room. So the greenery that I'm talking about will be an olive. Just looking at the card front, there's quite a bit of green going on. These right here. I'd love to use this but because it's not two-step stamping, it would be the, like, red, all red. Those are cute, too, though. A little greenery. Greenery. Oh, that's nice. That brings it together. One other. This one. This one's a little bit more straight. The other one has more of a curve. Okay. I think
think that's it for the inside. I tend to go overboard sometimes, stamping too much. Okay, this one might be my favorite after all that. Okay, there it is. Happy Valentine's Day. There's that. Turned out cute, huh? <sighs> Fun stuff. Well, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe and like button. I appreciate that. I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.